Hey, this is Stan Utley. I want to welcome you back to Columbia, Missouri for the third annual AJGA Junior event. We're pumped to have you here and it's an honor to have my name on the tournament. Front nine, I was putting really good, making everything. Back nine kind of slowed down a little bit, but still overall pretty happy with my putting today. Today, I got the qualification of this qualifier. I'm very happy and I'm excited to play the tournaments. Today, I broke 70 for the first time and that's been one of my goals for a long time and I can't wait to keep doing it. I feel like I hit my irons really well. I was hitting them within 20 feet for the most part and then I was putting really well too. I was making my putts. I hit a lot of greens and my putting was pretty solid. It took me a while to make putts but hitting greens helped a lot. It feels great. Uh, I love this course, so playing a good round out here, especially on the final day when it counted, was great. When I sunk that putt, I, I knew uh, I did everything I could and it wasn't in my hands anymore, so. Being able to get this AJGA win means a lot because it's my last AJGA before I go to college, so um, it just kind of shows that all the work that I've put in throughout the years, um, I've been doing better in these AJGAs and finally my last one was a win. It's just a pleasure and honor to welcome you all here today. It's I understand it's the third year for the AJGA tournament here at the Urbana Country Club. Welcome to the players and their families. Um, it means a lot to be in this tournament. Um, I love playing all-star tournaments, and especially this one because it's my last one for the year. So um, yeah, it's really cool to qualify. I like this course because it's a little bit challenging because the fairways are a bit narrow. So you really got to pick your targets and where you want to hit. My goal is um, I want to shoot under par one day. I haven't done that much this year. I did it yesterday, so I really want to do that. And other than that, I just have a good time. Like, I'm super fortunate that I'm here. It feels fantastic. Um, I, ha I practiced a lot yesterday, and I even drove eight hours over here, so it's just, it feels really nice that, that it all paid off. It feels great leading through the first and second rounds. I uh, played pretty well today, just left a few shots out there, but I still got 18 holes tomorrow, so we've got to go grind it out tomorrow and try to get the win. What I like playing about Urbana Country Clubs, it's a, it's a fair golf course. I mean, you got to hit it well off the tee because it's really tight. And then the greens are just, they roll true. So, I mean, if you hit your line it, and your speed, it's, it's going to go in. So that's what I like. AJG has helped me in my golf career by just um, I mean, playing in better tournaments. Um, I mean, just playing against better people and just making me a better golfer overall. To go wire to wire, big boost of confidence. Many tournaments before I was in the overnight lead, wasn't able to do it, and today I thought maybe I can do it, and I did, so it just feels really nice. AJG's events, they're just so wonderful. The course, in spectacular condition always. The staff, amazing, and traveling the world, uh, traveling U.S., um, going to different courses, getting new experience is always just so fun. In the future, I'm, I'm just gonna keep on thinking in the third round if I'm leading, just I can do this. This tournament just really helped me like remember that my game is a, in a good condition and I can still win. Coming into today, winning, I mean, just had to go out and play a good round, not make many mistakes and just keep my lead and just play my best golf. I like playing AJGA events because there's always great, everybody here is a great golfer and it's just a great events and they're always at great courses. Awesome. I mean, just came out that morning and just the putt started falling, so just took the momentum and uh, just kept going. And I, when I came in, I figured uh, I figured I'd be close, but it just feels great to be to break a record here. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, nice confidence booster going into the tournament. It was all right. Struggled a bit on the starting nine, and then made some good birdies and uh, error free on the back nine, so got it in well. I feel pretty good because I wasn't expecting myself to shoot this score, and it was a pretty hard, hilly course. I played pretty good. The course was in a great condition, but the greens were kind of hard and was like b bouncing off everywhere, but, I, but my shots were pretty good and my short game was really, it, it was great. Uh, it feels pretty good. Um, still two rounds to play, so can't get too ahead of myself, but it's a good start. It was playing pretty fair. Um, there were definitely some birdieable holes that I was able to take advantage of, but there were definitely some holes too that I got to watch out for. My putting was really on fire, so I was just rolling everything and it felt great. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm just trying to be consistent, kind of just play like I did today, smart, trying to hit the fairways, hit the greens, and then hopefully make the putt. It feels amazing. This is one of my favorite tournaments to play in. 
and it's even more special that it's one of my home courses and it's just a great golf course. Tomorrow I'm just going to try and hit it straight and make putts. That's really all you can do. It, it feels great. You know, I was happy to come out and play well today and, you know, put myself another chance to win one of these. I think my highlight today was I made four birdies in a row. That kind of got everything going for me and, you know, gave me a lot of confidence. So that was good to see that. Uh, it feels good. You know, it's been good last two days, but you know, the job's not done. I know tomorrow is going to be a good fight with all the other players out there. There's a lot of good players in the field. So I can't really let up. I got to keep, keep playing good. Um, just want to get off to a good start. I'd say the front nine out here, it's definitely a lot more scoreable. Um, and these are kind of the holes to take advantage of. So I think, you know, if I can just get off to a good start tomorrow and take advantage of the holes out here and just play my game, then it should kind of take care of itself. Uh, it feels good. Still 18 holes of golf left to play, so I just got to come prepared tomorrow. Kind of just same thing as yesterday. Um, you know, hit some fairways, hit some greens, and hopefully make some putts and be in contention for that back nine. Feels pretty awesome. I didn't start out very well. I had two bogeys in the first three holes, so after that, I just tried to hit it straighter and make birdies, and um, thankfully that worked. Feels great. Um, I've been working really hard to try to get this, and I've come really close all season. Feels great to really come across the finish line and play well really all three days. Well, I want to thank my parents for sending me here, my dad for coming, all the sponsors this week, all the members for letting them, letting us have the course, and Bo Van Pelt mostly. Um, it was great that he put his name on this event, and I couldn't thank him enough. It feels great. Uh, like after like a very long time of trying to win, I finally won, and this experience is just wonderful. Um, I actually did not know that I was on. I was in the lead until like the 17th hole. And when I saw the leaderboard, I was like actually very happy. And all I needed to do was like par 18, which I did, and yeah. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, the course is in great shape. I actually, yesterday was the first time I ever played this golf course, so. Um, I really like it. I just I feel comfortable on it. Um, a lot of the holes fit my eye, so I, I do feel pretty good. I was pretty confident because for the last few weeks I've been playing really good golf. So um, I mean I played this event last year and didn't do too well, but coming into it I felt a lot better and I struck the ball pretty well. You know I was just trying to play smart, keep the ball in play, and you know make a putt every once in a while because it was windy too. So I was just trying to do my best, keep the ball in play, and to see how well I could go. Um, I felt pretty confident my game's in a good place, so um, I just knew I needed to go out there and hit the fairways, hit the greens, make some putts. It felt awesome um, to be able to put those numbers up and, um, you know, lead this tournament after the two days and then coming into the final day. Um, it just felt good, yeah. It was good. I was just focused on playing the course and trying to go low. That back nine stretch, maybe 11, 12, 13 is fun in the trees. Tree line, yeah. It feels pretty amazing to qualify in this event, considering it's my first AKGA, and uh, I was able to beat out a lot of really good players and put in a low score. I think what makes the AJGA stand out is their uh, prestigious like record across the years and all the amazing players that have played. And I think just that aspect, just that bring that you guys bring to the table, just really makes me want to play in the events. AJGA, it's actually a really good platform for us to like challenge ourselves and also show ourselves. So I think it's uh, just a really, really good chance for us, like yeah, just to get more challenge and just show how like how good we are something like this. Uh, it feels good to be leading after uh, round one. Normally I'm, uh, I kind of work my way back in tournaments and play better on the back end, so it's nice to get some good momentum going forward. Um, goals to win, but just playing, playing my own game, controlling what I can control, not how other people play, so just hitting shot by shot. So I feel that for this course, you have to have a good t-shirt, t-shirt, and it's something that I am really good with, and that helped me a lot. Get in, that, get in the fairway to then hit a green regulation. Winning my first AJGA event means a lot. Um, 
I got second in one last year and uh, I wanted to improve on that and winning is the only way to do it and I got that done so happy now. Having UHY as a tournament sponsor is great. Um, they always sponsor great events. I played in the UHY in New York last year. It was at my home course and it was excellent, super fun. And I played in the uh, UHY Kansas City Junior. It's awesome, that event was awesome too. All the UHY events are great. So it's always fun having them as a sponsor. My first AJJ win, it's a lot for me. Um, it really shows me how much I've improved these past couple years. And I also in the last AJJ, I got second while we were tied for the lead after the second day so winning really means a lot and I'm just glad to get it done. UHY sponsoring events, I've played in another UHY sponsored event before and having them sponsor really just means a lot because it shows how much they support junior golf and that means a lot to me because I am a junior golfer and this just helps me so much playing AJGA and having a big corporation sponsor that just really means a lot. Um, my strength today was probably my long game. I was hitting it really straight and just consistent. Um, hit a lot of greens and fairways, which is always good. Uh, I think uh, I did really great today because I'm really calm. Even I, even I hit that top shot, I still, I can stay, I can stay really calm and, and just focus on each shot step by step. I hit 15 greens. Uh, I was just, I was just stable, not making many mistakes. I had much more birdie putts. But um, I'm very happy with the result and I'm um, super happy to be playing Bay Hill now. Definitely, this is a pretty good first round. 72 was uh, tied with another girl. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely a good open. So first of all, I, have a, I had a good round, a great round. Uh, my mistakes were like just simple, just uh, next to the green, just simple up and downs. So today my putting, well the past few days my putting's been really good. I only had one three putt today and that was what my putt did, a 360 on hole three. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit devastating but it was fine. I knew this uh, course is hard, you can, you can make big holes and I was playing good the uh, front nine and then make a double. I tried to stay in my game. I make birdie on nine and then the back nine, I make three birdies, so that was pretty good. Today was my first ever round going zero bogeys, so that was like awesome. And like I kind of started noticing it going down the stretch and I kept on putting myself in the bunker. I think I hit more fairway bunkers than I did fairways today, so that was fun. But I just kept on playing my game and it, it ended up working out. Um, I would say that my strength today was just kind of hitting it just kind of the middle of the green, giving myself good putts all day, but my Achilles heel was 100% putting and just, I think I ended up leaving six putts short in the heart today and just, and I was four down, four to play, kind of frustrated with myself. It's great for me, I mean, yeah, I'm really happy to call it by it and I'm just trying to play good golf and enjoy the round and make new friends. I guess I hit most of my fairways and I hit most of my greens and I got really lucky with my putting. It's a tournament that I can get some stars from and stuff. Today, I was the first girl group, so I didn't have that much wind to work with, which was really nice. And my putting was really solid today. Even if my even if my second putt wasn't that close, I was able to clutch up some like five footers for par, and I think that really shaped up my game. Well, usually before coming to every round, I just have a goal set like under par. Like as long as I shoot under par, I'll be satisfied. And before like any tournament, I'll usually just practice putting since that's pretty much my biggest problem as like the range stuff is off from before and being prepped for it. So. Hitting the ball really well. My putting was, you know, just average, but you know, I hit it close enough to, you know, where I was able to make the putt, so I'm really happy how I played. Yeah, I'll putt a little bit, um, I'll hit a little bit, but most importantly, you know, just keeping myself in a good headspace for tomorrow and kind of just, you know, starting that fresh every single day. Driver was just feeling great today, hitting it here, just like bombs from down in the middle, had really short and just relied on my wedges for the first couple holes, first couple birdies. Putting this means a lot. I mean, I've played this course growing up. Like, I have just so many tournaments here, so many memories here. Just a great course. And then playing under CP Pants course, to, I mean, tournament two is just great. Hit my driver straight and um, saved a lot of up and downs from being in bad lives and not hitting my eyes very solid. I had set goals for myself during the summer to win uh, uh, specific tournaments. Um, AGGA wasn't really one of them, but I like to overachieve. I really want to um, continue having good scores, um, making new friends, and um, overall becoming a better person golf-wise. Like I started the day in eighth place, so I didn't thought that I was gonna be here. 
but it was obviously, obviously nice. Like I knew that I needed like a low round, so I went out and tried to make some berries and well, a steep thunder was pretty good. The, the first one means a lot, but I think, well, I don't think, I, I want more. So hopefully we'll have a lot of these interviews. So we'll keep going and let's see what happens.